guys, it's Nigel here from the Music Rooms and today we're going to be taking a look at Twist and Shout by the Beatles. This comes from Grade 2 of the Trinity Rock and Pop syllabus, so let's zoom in and see what's happening. Okay, so we're going to take a look at a couple of the main parts that make up this song. The first one is that main riff that you hear in the intro and right the way through the verse. It goes like this. <laughs> of some single notes and three chords in there as well. So I'm going to start with the single note section that goes like this. Okay, and to do that I used the open A string, then I went to the second fret of the A string with my first finger, then I went to the fourth fret of the A string with my third finger, and then the open D string. So really, really slowly that goes like this. are three chords and the three chords that we're using are D, G and A. So they go like this. If you don't know those three chords let's look at them one at a time. So here we go we've got the D chord and for that we've got our first finger on G on the second fret, our middle finger is going over here on E on the second fret and our third finger is on the B string on the third fret. Then we're going to have our G chord and we have our first finger right here on the A string 2nd fret, middle finger is on the E string at the 3rd fret and then our 3rd and 4th fingers, I like to use both of these, they go on to the 3rd fret of the B and E strings. Some people just do a G chord like that as well and that's totally fine, they're both G chords. It just depends which one you like better. Uh, then the last chord we have is the A chord, and for that we have our first finger right here on the A string at the 2nd fret, our 2nd finger is on the G string at the 2nd fret, and our 3rd finger is on the B string at the 2nd fret. Now, when we put all of those chords together with that little single note thing, we get this. is the main part of the song. The other part of the song that we're going to take a look at today is the instrumental part that goes like this. So to do that there's kind of just a combination of a bunch of open strings and some stuff going on with the second and fourth fret of G and D. So I'm going to start with the open strings first of all. So I play the D string, the G and B. And then what we do is we go back to the 2nd fret of G, add that in with those other notes we have. Then I'm going to go up to the D string, 2nd fret, I'm going to play that note, the open G string, and then to the 4th fret of the D string, so I'm going like this. Notice how I used my third finger for that last note as well. So it all goes together like this. I'll go really, really slowly so that you can kind of see what's going on. Okay, let's take a look at those two parts and the song so that they have some context. We've looked at a couple of the main parts of Twist and Shout and hopefully you're well on your way to learning the full song. Stay tuned for the next video.